But one thing that is very hard to argue with is the read speed. The read speed on those RAID 5 hard drives was significantly higher by a 10 GB. <laughs> Hello and welcome back and today starts part of a three-part series about the speed of your NAS. More precisely, I want to talk about the following. One, we're going to talk about the Synology DS2419 Plus. Now, other NASes, of course, are available. Two, we're going to talk about the speed difference between link aggregation with four LAN cables and 10 GBE. Now, this device here is one of the few Synology devices out there that has four LAN ports on the rear and it has a PCIe slot. Into that PCIe slot, we've installed a 10GBE card, and that 10GBE card is going into a smart switch I've got here, and that switch is feeding that 10GBE out into the Sonic adapter, that Sonic Solo 10G we had before, and that's going into this Thunderbolt laptop. What we want to figure out today, and over the course of this and the two videos that follow, is one, what kind of speeds will you get with link aggregation and um, with bonding of those links because you can do load balancing which is a different kind of thing what's the speed difference between them and 10 GBE and ultimately in the third part of the video or the third video even is it worth upgrading the 10 GBE or taking advantage of link aggregation well here's our setup here we've got the NAS all connected up and we're going to do the first part of our testing but before we do anything else we better start sorting out that mapped network drive so let's move over to the screen. So here we are back on the desktop and right now as mentioned I'm using the Sonnet Solo 10G adapter. This adapter is connecting this laptop to my smart 10G switch and that switch is connected in turn to the NAS in two different ways. It's connected via four LAN ports with link aggregation connected via the switch or each one of them being one gigabit ethernet to the NAS, the 2419 plus each connected to a LAN port. And on the other connection, I've got a 10GBE card inside this NAS that connects the 10G switch to this now 10G enabled switch. So there we are, 10,000 megabits per second. And up here, 4 times 1,000 megabits per second. Also, let's sort out some network drives because that's the way we want to do this so we can start doing the tests. So for the case, um, for the case in point here, the IP labeled 1, that is the 10GBE connected switch and the IP labelled 15 is the four LAN ports. Inside this NAS, we have both hard drives and SSDs. So we're gonna be running all of these tests on both hard drives and SSDs. So if we use the RAID 5, I'm oh, sorry, the RAID 0 with SSDs, this RAID 0 has got four um, 240 gig SSDs in a RAID 0 environment, Samsung 860 Evos, I believe. We'll click next will make that drive letter Z. Next, we're going to do the same thing. And again, we're going to map that on this connection. And on this one, we're going to use the hard drives. So that's three 4TB WD Reds in a RAID 5 environment. I'm going to click next. And again, this is using the 10 gigabit connection. Click next there. And we're in. Now we'll move over to the ten, uh, sorry, the four times one gigabit LAN ports there, and we're going to map the exact same drives, but this time over four times one GBE. So again, SSDs, going to map that in X, and finally we're going to map one there. And we're going to map the hard drive. So now we've got the two kinds of storage, the two different kinds of RAID as well in our NAS mapped across four different drives, four mapped network drives. We have two mapped network drives for the one ending 15. So these two here are the four LAN and these two here with the IP ends in the number one are our 10 gigabit ethernet. Next, let's do a speed test on HAA of the hard drives via that good old 10GBE connection. So, let's roll. And again, great speeds we're getting here over 10GBE, but it's worth mentioning that because we're using 10GBE on three hard drives in a RAID 5, the speeds we're getting aren't going to be, you know, extensively higher than that of those four LAN cables we were using, the four times one GBE in link aggregation. 
and that's because each one of those drives really only gives us about 100 to maybe 110 megs and the RAID 5, although we're accessing multiple drives at once, is not going to give us the speed that we really want. We're going to see great speeds on read, there's no denying it, but the write speeds are going to be reduced because of the RAID 5 um, and 10 GBE not quite having the same top speeds available. Now, if we move from here and we swap over to those SSDs, now we should see a slight difference. So once again, this is four SSDs in a RAID 0 environment, and straight away, we've got those speeds well over 500 each way. Now again, if we had more SSDs or a different RAID environment, or we were lagging some of those um, SSDs, or we were using a NAS with a far more powerful CPU, we'd probably be getting higher speeds than this. But straight away, we're getting better speeds from the SSDs over 10 GBE. And how that compares, we'll talk about in the next part. So here we are back. We've set up the two drives earlier on over 4 GBE. That's 4 times 1 GBE cable. And I've removed the 10 GBE drives just to ensure that this is only testing those drives via the four aggregated LAN cables. I apologise in advance if the fan noise in the background has leapt up. Apparently link aggregating across these four cables has made my switch kick its fan in somewhat. So we will be getting a bit of background noise and I do apologise for that. But let's go straight into the hard drive test. That's the RAID 5s that we're going to access over 4 GBE. Let's go. So straight away we're hitting late 300s to 400s. And right now that RAID 5 via 4 GBE is maxing out the connection on those hard drives. We'd already seen that the link um, sorry, the RAID 5 hard drives via 10 GBE exceeded 400 megs consistently. But as we can see, these hard drives via link aggregation are still giving us the full available network speed over those four cables, which is good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I didn't expect these speed tests to go above 400 by any noticeable degree. I thought maybe at the very, very top, it would be around 410, maxing out the 4 times one GBE connection. But nevertheless, it is still interesting to see that we are still getting great speeds over link aggregation of those four, I'm sorry, those three hard drives in a RAID 5 configuration. So what we'll do is we'll let this last read speed spin out, and then I'll stop this and we'll do exactly the same test for those SSDs. So over here, we'll make sure we select uh, Bay X or Network Drive X, which is the RAID 0 of SSDs, which again, we're going to be accessing via 4 1 GB LAN. I'm sorry to be repetitious, but you'll be amazed how often people will skip forward on a very dull video like this. So let's start. So again, we're getting to that 420. Now this is interesting because although we're using 4 times 1 GBE, 1 GBE is still technically higher than 1 gigabit in traditional terms. So it could really have the potential to max out around 420 and I think that is what we're seeing here with AJA. It's letting it exceed 400 uh, megs right because that 4 GB is still technically one and a tiny bit GBE each. And that's what's being reflected here with those SSDs. It's maxing out the connection completely. And if we were using 10 GB as we were early, we would have seen higher speeds. But this is what we get with three hard drives in a RAID 5 environment via link aggregation of those four ports. And again, you do need a powerful NAS to do it. And we are using an Intel based CPU here. But now I'm going to move forward to the final part of this video where we're going to have these speed tests running side by side and talk about what we found out today. Straight away, the first thing that became apparent during these tests was that the write speed on the link aggregated uh, connection to the hard drives did seem to give greater results. Now this could be because you've got four independent streams of data being written to the NAS but as you saw as the test continued that number did wildly fluctuate. But one thing that is very hard to argue with is the read speed. The read speed on those RAID 5 hard drives was significantly higher via 10 GBE. Whether this was because of the RAID 5 um, having all that available data for 10 GB just a block read at once it was no denying that 10 GBE for read speeds 
was definitely better than that of lag. But I would argue, in the case of hard drives being read over link aggregation versus 10 GBE, that the speeds were definitely noticeably you know, better in some cases by link aggregation than 10 GBE. Now, whether that's just a fluke, I doubt it, because you can see with the consistent tests, the hard drives being read via link aggregation always seem to be somewhere in the region of 30 to 50 megabytes quicker for the write. So if that's something that's going to be important to you where you've got regular backups, lag will definitely be good in this RAID setup. Maybe not so much for photo video editors that rely on read as well as write for some of the archive footage, but for link aggregation versus 10 GBE, I can definitely say that a RAID 5 is a good thing to use for your hard drives and with lag compared with 10 GBE. But let's check out what happens with those SSDs to compare. Now, SSDs were pretty much a whitewash with 10 GBE winning in every sense of the word. Now, as we already mentioned earlier on during the speed tests of the four LAN cables in link aggregation, it kind of maxed out every single available port. Maybe if we had a five or six 1 GBE NAS, if such a thing exists, or a 10 GBE into eight port switch, we might have seen higher speeds. But with the link aggregated cables being maxed out from that already impressive speed of SSDs in a RAID 0, lag just does not compare with a RAID of SSDs when you compare it with 10 GBE. Look at those 10 GBE speeds reading from those four SSDs. Consistently over 500 megs read and write. And that's kind of inarguable. So once again, if you are going to edit on SSDs, 10 GBE all the way, but if you're going to use hard drives, maybe consider link aggregation for your needs. But otherwise, this has been Lag versus 10 GBE. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.